chance for maybe some showers at the tail end of this upcoming weekend. They may be here as early as Saturday night, but for now we're going to try to hold them off till Sunday. Yeah. Hold them off. Hold them off, will you? Yeah, but I'm excited about turning my clock back. Oh, that's good. On Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. Let's serve up a dish of warm comfort food, especially on these cold, rainy days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hannah McCauley, the woman who changed my life when she brought in those chicken wings <laughs> and that cheese dipping sauce. <laughs> oh, it was delicious. Man, that was good. <laughs> She's brought in chicken dumplings, uh, her mm. recipe anyway. Okay. Welcome, Hannah. Tell me, what, you, what do we got? Uh, this is chicken and dumplings. I thought um, today there's not a better day to serve something like yeah. chicken and dumplings. That's true. That's true. It's rainy and it's cold. And this is a super, super easy dish to put together. Okay. Um, some people are intimidated by chicken and dumplings. They think it's hard. They think it takes all day. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't. All I did here is I sauteed some celery and onions in mm -hmm. butter. Mm -hmm. And then to that, I added white wine, which gives it a really complex flavor. Um, sure. And then I put chicken bouillon in there, too. I use a lot of chicken bouillon in my cooking because it makes the, the soup just really, really rich. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, after that, heavy cream. Can't go wrong. Mm, never. And I now. thicken it with a little bit of flour. Okay. And I just put some herb seasoning in there. Mm -hmm. um, this is Grillmate's um, Montreal chicken, but you can use fresh herbs or you can use Italian seasoning. Mm. Whatever you like, whatever you have. Uh -huh. um, then this is a super easy trick. I just use crescent roll dough for my oh. dumplings. Oh, look at that. I was talking to a lady out there. She says, I love chicken and dumplings, but I always have trouble with my dumplings. And I said, just use crescent roll dough. Or you can use biscuit dough. Right. Super easy. Okay. You mm -hmm. just want to bring this to a boil. And as soon as it starts to boil, put like a quarter size dumpling. Just drop, drop it right it. in your soup. Let it boil for about 15 minutes. And, and it's you've done? Got dumplings. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. So when it's boiling, drop the dough. Yes. Another 15 minutes, we eat. Done. Mm-hmm. Wow. Another trick, too, my chicken, I've got some poached chicken in there. I always like to have poached chicken um, in my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all I do is I put it in a crock pot, and I put it with chicken bouillon and water. Yeah. Right. And just let it cook all night. Are you doing tender. a whole chicken to do No, that? just um, chicken, chicken breast. Oh, okay. But, you, I mean, you can use um, dark yeah. meat, okay. white meat, whatever you want. But okay. that's going to make it really tender for the... It makes it tender, and it's got so much flavor because of the, uh, the chicken bouillon. bouillon. Oh, yeah. and then, of course, to give it the creamy nature, you're using... That's the whip. I, I use heavy, heavy cream. cream. Okay. I mean, that's probably the best, but you can use you can use milk. You can use water if you want to lighten it up. Was this something bit. that... You, was this a family recipe, or this no. come from? You just... I, I think, you know, people would talk about chicken and dumplings, and I cook for a lot of hunters. We've got hunting clients in right now. Yeah. Oh. So these guys, they've been out in the woods all day, and they want something hearty. Oh. So I started to look into chicken and dumplings, and I just, I saw somebody's recipe, and I made it my own. Yeah. So mm -hmm. could we use, say, some venison? Yeah. If we wanted to put... You could use wild turkey. I'd use wild chicken turkey. chicken and dumplings. It'd be venison and dumplings. Well, you can well, do yeah, whatever you want. But she was talking about, you know, hunters. So I was thinking... I, I, wild I turkey. Wild turkey. If you poach wild turkey in a crock pot, just like you would chicken, um, same thing. They say oh, once right. you have that, you, you never want to go back. It's good. Are it's we supposed to sample this? Yes. Yes, yeah, please. <laughs> You're just like you I did last time. <laughs> if you want to learn more about Hannah and her wonderful recipes, be sure to log on to hannahmccauley.com. Leah, I want you to tell me, and then I'm going to grab some... It's is it still hot? It's is hot. It? Okay. Yeah, no, okay. So well, I'll be careful. Lee, yeah. take a quick bite. All right, just a quick one. Here we go. We'll go to break. What do you say? Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> is You're it so good. going to make you eat your fingers off? Oh, yeah. What? Eat your fingers off. Yeah, yeah. Eat your, eat your fingers off. <laughs> Never heard of that, That's but what okay. The old folks say. All right. Well, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back in a second. Thank you. I think I'm going to grab some. Got a wet bag.